A leg of lamb is a great cut to cook over the festive season if you're cooking for large groups of people. I'm going to show you a really interesting marinade for the lamb. You can do this with lamb cutlets, but I'm using the leg of lamb on the bone, which is so, so tasty. So the secret into making a marinade, especially a leg of lamb, is to marinate it overnight. We're going to make a paste, first of all. We're going to put in garlic, so just peel the garlic, and then we're going to put it into our little pestle and mortar. I'm going to put the zest of lemon in here. This is a lovely kind of paste or a marinade that you can serve with any kind of meats, but lamb and leg of lamb, it's so delicious. It really is. It really takes on all these beautiful spices and flavours. A little bit of ground cumin, and I'm going to put in some sweet paprika. Definitely worth having in your cupboard if you make a tomato soup, tomato sauce, fresh thyme and rosemary. Chop this nice and fine. Just a little bit of olive oil. Smash it first of all, the garlic. If you don't have one of these, just throw everything into this little mini chopper. Food processor will work well, so just pound this all down. So I want to leave a little bit of texture from the garlic. I don't want it too fine. This is a leg of lamb. It's quality assured. And we're going to pierce it. So we're going to use the point of the knife, make incisions. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get the marinade to get in there. And if you can marinate this overnight, it'll be so full of flavour. Now, I think that's more than enough. So I think the best way when you're marinating it, if you get a bag, a roasting bag or a plastic bag, get the lamb in. Don't season it. I have no salt in this. I'm going to season before I cook it. And then we're going to spread that just with the back of the spoon. Then make sure you coat it all over. Then just get the bag, simply press it right in here. Now this needs to go into the fridge. If you can do this overnight, the flavour will be delicious before we roast it. So after 24 hours, when you've marinated the lamb, bake it off in kind of like a parcel, but I'm going to do it on a trivet of potatoes and some herbs. As simple as that. Try to pick a nice kind of waxy potato. So nice thick slices. We have parchment paper and we have two sheets of tin foil. It's kind of going to act like a trivet, we call this. So the tray is underneath here. So all the lamb juices are going to flavour the potatoes. It's going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to get a little bit more rosemary and I'm also going to get some lovely thyme. Tear them with your hands. A little bit of oil. I'm going to drizzle this all over. And then we're going to put our lamb and we're going to season it. Because we didn't season the lamb, so I'll just season a little bit of the potatoes first. Some salt and a little bit of black pepper and then your lamb. Now, because it's on the bone, it's going to be so much more succulent and so much more flavoursome. So make sure you have more or less the same tray that you marinated the lamb in. I've just removed it from the bag, a little bit of salt over the lamb, because we didn't put any seasoning into the marinade, a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to put a little bit of oil over this, even though we had oil in the marinade. Let's wrap this, seal it in. Now, this needs to go in at the oven preheated at 180. So after two hours, I'm going to unwrap it so I am to get a bit of colour onto it and it should be golden brown and lovely and crispy. This Greek style salad works really well with the lamb. I make the dressing first. So pour some olive oil into a bowl and then add some red wine vinegar. Season with salt and pepper and mix it all together. Slice some red onions as thinly as you can. Add these to the dressing with some halved cherry vine tomatoes. Cucumber goes in next and this will be followed by some olives. Cut into quarters with the stones removed. Tear in some flat leaf parsley and the final ingredient is some baby spinach leaves. Mix everything together carefully. This is a lovely and colourful salad and a light healthy complement to the roast lamb. So what I'm going to serve with it next is a little bit of mint and cumin yoghurt. So we have some natural yoghurt here, put the juice of half a lemon which gives a lovely acidity to it. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of cumin, a touch of ground cumin, and this is just some fresh mint here. Sprinkle that in, a touch of salt and pepper, and then mix everything together. So we're not actually serving a gravy with it, this actually acts as the sauce. Scrape this out. This is what we call family serving, that everything is in bowls, little dishes, and then just let everyone help themselves. I'm going to go to the oven. Wow, that looks so good and it smells amazing. All those lovely spices and herbs. So this is approximately a little bit over two kilos in weight, this lamb. It took about two hours to cook. I'm serving it slightly pink. And after about an hour and a half, I just unwrapped the parchment paper and the tin foil. That's to get color. Now what I like to do is just put this at the center of the table, let someone carve it, serve it with the salad, the lovely little yogurt dressing on the side that everyone took in. It's a fabulous dish to enjoy over the Christmas.